All right, here's my first look at the brand new uh, Raspberry Pi Zero W for wireless. Okay, and it's this guy here, Raspberry Pi Zero W wireless. This is the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero with the camera, and this is the Raspberry Pi Zero original. So we'll just take a look at all three of them and just compare the, compare them. First thing we notice is that the components have moved. Components obviously have moved. And as uh, Raspberry Pi website pointed out, uh, it uses the same uh, Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth controller as in the Raspberry Pi 3B. Okay, the 3B and the wireless and the and the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero W uses the same components, uses the same wireless components, and that's uh, this guy here. One, two, and then the antenna here, resistor and everything. And this is for uh, external antenna. These three solid pads is for the external antenna, if you can see them. All these components are related to wireless. Now here's here's a take a closer look here. Let's take a closer look. And um, I don't know if you can see it, but these three are the well first these three are the these three pads are for an external an antenna. And if you look really closely, you see a, a resistor here. You see that's the antenna here, and it leads up to here another another two resistors, and this this whole triangle thing is hollow. You shine a flashlight through it. There's no wiring here. It's just just a hollow area. Okay, and this little resistor, someone uh, on someone uh, was able to move that, rotate it, and connect it to here. This tiny little pad here. This component that you can barely see, he, he uh, rotated it here and then made a uh, a little uh, socket here to connect an external antenna. Alright, so uh, pretty much the same as uh, the other pies. Um, there's a coil there that's been added. I don't know what that's for. There's a coil here. Not sure what that coil is for. Four R seven RF coil for a unknown reason. Um, okay, so the original Pi uh, Pi with with the camera con the connector, and then Pi with the wireless. Um, Components have moved. You see, suddenly, like this, this little guy was was moved in the, in the third one. Um, the silhouette has moved in the third one, and um, otherwise, some components have just been rotated and moved around a little. The activity LED was moved from the first one to the second one but stay the same in the third one uh, the, uh, otherwise the main connectors are the same the USBs all will remain the same the HDMI will remain the same but the silhouette for HDMI is gone in the third one I guess they figure you know, should know by then SD card are all, all the same uh, the bottom is flat, still the same. Just, just the same hasn't changed. The bottom is still completely flat. Just uh, the pie is the raspberry was moved and uh, extra text there. And um, here's the bottom. Is what it says on the bottom. It tells you the version and everything. And, but you see here it says uh, Raspberry Pi Zero version 1 
instead of uh, say 1.3 and 1.2 Point two here. So yesterday they're branching off from you got the the five dollar branch and then you got the ten dollar branch here. So like the um, Raspberry Pi uh, one A and B, the two A and B, and the three A and B, where it branches off to a cheaper model and then a more full fuller model. And um, so, so I'm still. Flashing. I just finished downloading the brand new uh, uh, Raspbian operating system, and um, in the process of uh, flashing the SD card. So I'm still flashing the SD card. Haven't been booted up yet. Uh, got a micro center, so I got it a week after some of the other people have gotten it. Some people got it earlier. I got it just today, just uh, a few hours ago. So when the crystal was moved a little, it was rotated, and um, this row of resistors, it's the same here and here, but it changed here, it's kind of flipped around. Uh, GPIO is the same, the uh, composite is the same, the uh, power switch, the uh, reset pads are the same, pogo points are all the same. Except the first one doesn't even have that. This test pin here is not there. I notice they're using small components here because these rows of resistors got shrunk here. You barely see it. And that shrunk and moved up uh, a couple of millimeters up. And uh, you see here they have some space so they could put the raspberry here, but here they have no spaces. They have no space to put the raspberry, except maybe here. But um, you can see they're running out of space. They they can't really add any more. They could barely add anything more to this unless they could shrink some of these parts here. Otherwise, uh, there's no space to to put anything unless they integrate the wireless into the sock chip. They really don't have any space left. Unless to combine these two guys, the uh, USBs, and maybe use a micro uh, HDMI connector instead. And I'm not sure about the SD card. I'm not sure unless they unless they could add a, another flash chip instead of a SD card. It's the only other thing they could do. All right, so my uh, SD card is still flashing, so uh, I'll just wait for that. Can't do anything about it, so. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.